Enduro Industries says its new cruise missiles can be mass-produced twice as fast or 30% less than other missiles. The defense startup just introduced its new Barracuda autonomous aerial vehicles intended for rapid manufacturing at scale. They're hyperscaling the missiles with simpler designs, fewer parts, modular construction, and advanced in-house software. The designs feature 50% fewer parts. The assembly is highly automated, requiring 95% fewer tools to build. The Barracuda M family has three models. The Barracuda 100 is lightweight and launchable from the ground and air. It's meant for quick, short missions. The mid-sized model, the Barracuda 250, fits in the weapons bay of fighter jets. It balances range, speed, and payload capacity. The Barracuda 500 has a range exceeding 500 nautical miles, reaching targets over 926 kilometers away. In an interview with Bloomberg Technology, Enduro founder Palmer Lucky highlighted that war games showed U.S. running out of critical munitions within days of a conflict with expansionist dictatorships like China. I'll tell you how I think about things. I don't think the United States needs to be the world police. I think we need to be the world gun store. We need to be able to provide our allies and our partners around the world with the tools that they need to turn themselves into prickly porcupines that nobody wants to step on. And I think that sending American lives overseas, boots on the ground, is not going to be the future of how we support, uh, support our friends around the world. I think it's going to be making sure that we can make things at a scale where they believe that our support for them is more than just words. We can actually send them the things that we say that we're willing to send them. I think Ukraine has really exposed this weakness in the United States foreign policy strategy, where we say we support all of these people, but they look and say, well, they can't even manufacture the basics like artillery shells. Enduro's core product, Lattice, powers the Barracuda. The AI-powered platform integrates all steps of the production process, design, development, testing, and manufacturing. The setup allows for autonomous operations without relying on real-time communication links that can be jammed by adversaries. Enduro plans to build a new factory named Arsenal One to make weapons and military systems faster and in larger quantities. A location hasn't been disclosed yet, but plans call for over 5 million square feet and thousands of workers. How, how does this build-out happen? What does it mean in terms of production, how quickly you can bring that online? We have to identify a site, uh, you know, okay. work out the arrangements with the state that we're going into, uh, and that will be a process that we'll be figuring out in the next couple of months. Um, and then as far as build-out and things like that, obviously it depends on the site and, you know, how ready it is to scale. The factory will make many types of military systems, like drones and missiles, using simple designs and parts that are easy to get. Enduro is aiming for tens of thousands of military systems per year, far exceeding traditional defense manufacturing companies. The factory will also build new types of unmanned aircraft for the Air Force that work with manned planes to improve air combat abilities. Also a big milestone for the U.S. Air Force to be building and developing an autonomous fighter jet for the first time at scale. This is really an incredibly important program, not just for Anderil or for the Air Force, but for our country. U.S. government is pushing defense companies to deploy similar tactics to accelerate military system development. Traditional defense companies use older systems that are slow to change. Anduro uses digital engineering to quickly update its products for new threats. The Government Accountability Office says the U.S. lags behind Russia and China in hypersonic weapons and shipbuilding because of its lack of agility. Despite billions spent, the Pentagon hasn't fielded any hypersonic weapons, which fly more than five times the speed of sound. The Navy's struggles with timely shipbuilding are also well noted. Navy ships take years longer to deliver compared to commercial projects, complicating planning and budgeting. While commercial ships get delayed too, the length and cost overruns are multiple times longer and pricier with the Navy. Last year, the Department of Defense enacted its 5000.97 instruction, requiring new military system programs to use digital engineering methods to accelerate delivery.